What's up, real world? Twisted luck. Hope everybody's good. Thanks for being here. I appreciate you. So a couple of things went on today. Uh, some some sort of cyber attacks affecting healthcare um, healthcare organizations in several states, and this caused emergency rooms to shut down. Um, some uh, other type of it caused a lot of a lot of a lot of issues. Uh, emergency rooms, some of them literally had to shut their doors. They had to divert patients to other areas. Now, this wasn't one hospital. This wasn't one location, right? This was several in several different states. And these are things that uh, some of us, you know, we don't want to panic and stuff, but these are things that we prepare for because this could be a, you know, it could be a, a start of something. It could be a sign of something. And on the same day, uh, later, I'm not seeing as much news of it, but uh, Wells, now I don't know if this is an alleged cyber attack, whatever this is, um, Wells Fargo bank customers, um, many of them apparently, and enough to get the attention of mainstream media saying they're having issues with their accounts, their deposits are missing. Uh, customers who had direct deposits into their bank, it's disappeared. Some, cost, some customers have reported getting overdraft fees uh, due to their deposits being uh, vanished, getting disappeared. Now, Wells Fargo is not saying much about it, so I, I would imagine if if it is a cyber attack, they would want to try to fix it, and they would want to try to kind of keep it as quiet as they, as they could um, for as long as they could. I think maybe they wouldn't jump right out and say that, oh, no, you're... Uh, your information is out there. I think they would want to try to get it fixed because obviously it's a banking institution, so it's going to make people feel nervous when you know they feel like their information, their financial information, is out there all over the place. It could be some sort of glitch within Wells Fargo. As of right now, it's only Wells Fargo that I've heard about, so you know it could be something. But I found it kind of coincidental that on the same day that we're seeing these things happen with the healthcare organizations, we're seeing something weird in financial institutions. And we've talked about before, and you know, one of the fears before, if if a big, big thing was going to go on that would affect everybody, right? Uh, big targets would be healthcare, financial, and obviously the big one, power. And just today, we're seeing two of the three now, again, I'm not making claims. I'm making observations. I just wanted to kind of throw this out there just for people to be aware. For those of you who may not already be aware, but these are things definitely that we should pay attention to and not just ignore and, you know, not dwell on or fear, but keep an eye on it and let's see what else may or may not go on and, uh, you know, act accordingly. However, we need to act accordingly. But the, these are the type of things that we prepare for anyway. This is why most of us prepare um, for, you know, you don't want things to come, but if they do, I just find it very fishy that the bank and the hospitals at the same day. And if you may recall, there was a time not long ago that that real life Dr. Evil predict, predicted such an occurrence, right? That cyber attacks could happen to <laughs> healthcare organizations and financial institutions, and you will need us to bail you out. Imagine a world where, uh, well, we know who rules the world, who runs the world, who call, calls the shots, who plans the things that happen organically, right? Uh, this is going to be, a, I'm making a short video here. I just want to throw this out. Uh, there's some things I want to get into in better videos. Uh, I finally got some supplies together so we can do our testing videos. Uh, but these things were going on and I, you know, the healthcare one was kind of weird. And then when I saw the banking one too, I was like, oof. On the same day, how coincidental, right? And also, speaking of the healthcare industry, let, let me mention something real quick. Um, I've noticed over the past, this week and the week before, the week before I noticed some increases in people having common symptoms, right? Symptoms being abdominal pain and or abdominal pain and vomiting, right? And I noticed there was an increase, an increase, an increase until recently toward the end of this week. We're in here until, you know, current times now. A lot, a lot. So much that 
there was one, um, you know, one, one facility who in, in their day about the first day, about 75% of the patients were complaining of that. The second day, the next day, about 90% were complaining of that so much that I'm always in tune with things. I'm paying attention. I take notes when I start hearing things, but so much that other people are saying, Hey, isn't this weird? Are you noticed all these people with this and that? And, um, lots of people were noticing it. And I was able to speak to a doctor briefly, a doctor who's working in a facility that's dealing with this. And I said, Hey, what's going on with all this abdominal pain and vomiting? And they said, I know that's crazy, right? WTF. And I said, well, yeah, I thought it's kind of crazy. Um, what's going on with it? And they said, I don't know what the hell's going on with it. I asked if there's like a diagnosis, if these people are having a bug or something, are they all you know, leaving with, you know, the same things to you being told to them, or are they all, you know, what, without giving me people's personal information or anything like that, obviously, you know, which that wouldn't happen, but they said, no, don't know what the hell it is, don't know what the hell it is, so that, I think, those are odd symptoms, I think, for lots of people to have, usually, if there's a bug or something going around, you know, you might, people have a, a cold or, you know, uh, stuffy head, sore throat, cough, sneezes, whatever, or they might, you know, some, some kind of bug related symptoms. There's no bug, there's no nothing. And everybody dealing with it agrees that it's very strange. And, and it's, it, it's, it's, it's odd. Now it makes me wonder, imagine if it could, no claims, just imagine if it could be related to other things, right? I would love to know if these people, and I'm curious if you are seeing things like this in your area too. A lot of people, they don't know, right? They'll have symptoms or they know if someone has having symptoms, but without knowing the big picture, they don't know how widespread it is. So, you know, they don't get the chance to think that that's weird when we share information like this and more and more people are like, holy crap. Yeah, me too. Um, that's when we start to realize how widespread things are. But imagine, I would love to know if the people with these symptoms also happen to be Kool-Aid recipients, right? Did they have some sips of Kool-Aid? Now, that would be very weird. Now, if that was the case, uh, what would be causing this now? Because, you know, you would think, oh, at at a certain time after drinking Kool-Aid, something would progress and this would happen. But people drank Kool-Aid at all different times, right? Then you have to wonder if it could be some waves, you know, uh, remotely something is being altered or changed. Just observations, just thoughts based on uh, things that we've talked about, observations we've had in the past, and absolute facts that have been uncovered over time, right? But it's very strange, and I wanted to I wanted to toss that out to you, too, and see what if other people are noticing this in their areas. Uh, I'm in Florida, as you know, and that's what we're noticing here, and it's a big thing, and a lot of people are noticing it, a lot of, even people who don't generally pay attention, and they're thinking it's very odd, too. And uh, I would have to concur. But... Uh, the hospitals uh, with the cyber attack and the issues with the banking all in the same day. I think it's pretty weird. I think it's something to pay attention to. Um, and we'll see where it goes. Hopefully it doesn't progress. Like everything else, we've always said, we hope that things don't happen, right? We hope it all just turns out to be crazy talk and everything is just peaches and cream and glitter. Glitter and rainbows and puffy unicorns. Why are they puffy? I don't know. But uh, it's better to be prepared than to be blindsided, right? So anyway, share your thoughts. Let me know what you think. Like I said, I just wanted to be brief today and we're about to get into some more things. So stay tuned and uh, we'll get some cool things. Hopefully we're going to do and prepare to be shocked. Maybe even myself. I don't know what's going to happen. We're going to find out. Thanks for being here. Twisted Luck Truth. I'll see you soon.